All right, if you were not able to make the 11 o'clock meeting, I still have a video for you to watch so that you can still participate. Um, we are drawing a spooky, starry night today. Um, it's not going to look 100% like this um, because you can make it your own, but I am going to draw um, the tree, the ghost, the background. We'll have a graveyard on one side. If you don't want to do a graveyard, I'm going to show you guys how to do some pumpkins. If you want to add the church in the background, you can. I'm not going to in my... Uh, drawing that I'm about to do but um, once you're done drawing then you can color it however you want take a picture and submit it guys so let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna start down here at the bottom of my paper and I'm gonna draw the letter W okay this is gonna be the bottom part of my tree now on both sides of my W I'm gonna draw the letter V so I have one two three four little uh, root roots here for the bottom of my tree. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my line and uh, bring it up just a little bit. Okay, so this is going to be like the bottom part of the trunk of the tree. From here what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw two little lines that go diagonally and then I'm going to come up a little bit and I'm going to draw another line that's parallel and parallel means that those lines do not touch Okay, so two parallel lines to the diagonal lines that I've just drawn. Now, on the ends of that, I'm going to just draw some little uh, V shapes for my hands. And those are simply one line, another line. Line up, line down, line up, line down, line up, line down and connected. If you want to draw your hands a different way, you 100% can because, again, this is your version of the spooky starry night. Once I have my hands and arms drawn, I'm going to start back where I left off and I'm going to draw my line that comes way up almost to the top of my paper. I'm going to leave a bit of space right there though. Now on this side I'm going to draw a line but I'm not going to make it go quite as high because I am going to add another diagonal line, a little line, and then another line that comes back down for like an extra branch off of my tree. And then I'm going to draw a line that comes to about right there. This line with the extra branch should be shorter than your long branch, than your long line here. So then I'm going to just draw some more jagged lines like maybe this tree has been broken off. Okay, so then here's our tree. Now let's add his face. Um, from about the top of where his arms start, I'm going to draw a line down on the left and the right. Just two little lines, just like that. And then in between it, I'm going to draw more of these jagged lines. So just down and up, making jagged lines on the top and bottom, connecting my two lines. Now this makes our tree's mouth, okay? Now, for his eyes, we're going to just come a little bit above the mouth and we're going to draw two horizontal lines. Okay? On the ends of those horizontal lines, I'm going to draw two lines that come up to vertical lines. So I look like I have an L and then a backwards L here. Now, I'm going to connect them and make a triangle for some easy angry eyes here. Now you can leave your eyes like that if you want. If you want to draw like a pupil inside of it, you can. I think I'm going to leave mine like that because it kind of looks like a jack-o'-lantern and I really like the way that that looks. So there is our haunted tree. Now I'm going to rotate my paper just like we did um, in the Starry Night video when we were drawing the swirls. Now, we are going to draw swirls, but if you remember from our example, our swirls are actually going to be ghosts, okay? So they're not going to be the swirls like Starry Night. If you want to do swirls like Starry Night, you can, but I'm going to make ours ghosts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start about right here, and I'm going to put a dot, and right there's my dot. If it's I know it's kind of hard to see. This is where my ghost um, is going to kind of start. So I'm going to curve around just like I was making my other curve in, with the starry night, just like I was making my S. 
I'm going to go behind the tree. So I'm going to draw my imaginary line through the tree, through that branch, and then I'm going to come back to about right there. Now, instead of swirling it up like I did with the S, I'm going to actually curve this around and come back. Hit my tree. I'm going to draw my imaginary line through my tree. I'm going to come back around and I'm just going to connect it. So this kind of looks like a big bubble letter S, kind of. Okay, so this is our first ghost swirl. Let's do our second one. So for this one, I'm going to come a little bit below my uh, swirl that I've done here, and I'm going to draw a curve. Okay, this is going to be the top of your ghost's head. Okay, so from there, I'm going to start up here at this point, I'm going to come down and around and wherever I curl it, I stop. Okay? So then I'm going to come to the other side of my ghost's head and I'm going to connect it and swirl it back like that. So this kind of looks like a question mark or a fish hook, depending on how you look at it. Now, before I turn my paper, I'm going to go ahead and add my facial features for my ghost. Now this kind of looks like the scream, a face like the scream, and that's simply three ovals, two for the eyes and one for the mouth, okay? I am going to rotate my paper for this one. So there's that ghost, and then I'm going to do one more. There's my eyes and my mouth. So there I have my three ghosts that are kind of hanging out here with my haunted tree. Okay? Now, up here in the corner, we're going to draw our moon. We're going to do that by coming not exactly in the corner, a little bit from the corner, and we're going to draw the letter C. And then we're going to start again at the top, and we're going to make a bigger letter C and connect it. So that's how we make our easy moon there. And then we're going to draw a circle around it. Okay? So that's pretty easy for that. So now let's talk about the details down here on the ground near our tree. Um, if you want to draw a graveyard, um, you can do it like this. Um, wherever you're going to have your graves, you can just draw little dashes, little horizontal lines. Okay? On top of those horizontal lines, you're going to draw an upside down letter U. Makes it a little easier to draw the tombstones. Now, if you want them to see like where uh, you want to get a little bit more detailed than that with them, like where the casket is actually buried or whatever, you can draw two little diagonal lines from the corners and then connect them. Okay? And that kind of just gives that 3D effect that these tombstones are not just sitting here. You don't just have flying little upside down U's here. You actually have some gravestones. Okay? Now, if you don't want to do gravestones, if you'd rather do pumpkins, pumpkins are really easy to do. We start in the middle of our pumpkin. And the middle of our pumpkin would just simply be a, an oval. Okay? So that would be the middle of our pumpkin. And then on one side, you make a backwards C. Try to make it about the same size as the oval. And then you do the same thing on the other side with like a really long, tall C. Okay, so there's your pumpkin. Pretty easy. We'll draw two little lines right there. Connect them. There's your stem. Now, if you want to do a pumpkin kind of behind your tree, you can make that middle portion a little bit closer to the tree. When you go to draw the sides of it, obviously if it's behind the tree, you're not going to be able to see it. Draw one on the other side. Stem. And there we go. Now, we've got a couple more details to draw, and that would be our horizon line. Remember, Starry Night is layered. We have like the front area, we have the hillside, and then we have the sky. Okay, so go ahead and you can draw your horizon line, and that doesn't have to be anything super fancy. Just draw your horizon line here. I'm going to draw a hill. Okay, 
comes up and over. Um, if you want to add another hill right there, you can. Um, and then I'm going to add one more for that big tree line in the back of Starry Night. Okay, so now we have our ground that our tree is sitting on, the hillside, and then the big hill where our stars are. And now we draw our stars. Simply draw a little tiny circle and a bigger circle around it. And you can draw as many of those as you want. Now, once you have this all drawn, um, now it's time for you to add some details. Color it however you want. Make it spooky. Um, you can add details to the tree. Um, you can add uh, faces on your pumpkins if you want to. Um, you can add more ghosts. You can add more spooky things if you want to draw a zombie coming out of the graveyard. You can do that or maybe a little zombie down here or something like that. Okay, that's what your spooky starry night looks like. Make sure that you color it and then take a picture and submit it. I can't see, wait to see what you got, guys. Have fun!